All right, welcome back. Hope you had a great time the last 30 minutes meeting with our providers. Let's get back in the swing of things. We're going to jump into our provider hot seat sessions now. Our providers have to sit and take questions from two of us at Planet One. Um, quick hitting, high action, but we hope it's a lot of fun. We also hope you get some out of this and, and how you can engage with these preferred vendors that we have. So we're going to start things off with a, an old friend of mine, known him a long time, one of the brightest guys in our industry. Up first is Nick Fan, Vice President of Americas for Cato Networks. All right, Nick, you're next up. Thank you for joining us today, and welcome to the hot seat. Thanks, guys. It's a pleasure to be here. Appreciate you having me, and I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to this time. <laughs> you say that now. Yeah, we'll see if he says that in 15 minutes. Yeah. You, want, you want to go ahead and About kick us off? About 11 minutes. Uh, no, no, no. Fire away. You've got, right. I, I'll, uh, I'll jump in. Yeah. So, so you just start off with, with the one we, we've talked about the SASE acronym that's been out there. You and I've had conversations. I've made fun of it. We've all that, that, that kind of routine is, is old, I would imagine at this point, but really what have you guys seen in the last year and, and where do you see the SASE platform going? What, what are the trends? What's now and what's next? Sure. So SASE is, uh, it, it's becoming a bit of a household name, at least in and these households with us in IT, every, everyone is sassy now, right? Everyone is, is saying it. Everyone is, is marketing to it. Gartner's done a great job coining the term. Um, Cato's really been sassy for six years. We, we've been doing this for a long time. And really what makes a sassy provider truly sassy is really four pillars that Gartner defines that it's, that it's converged, cloud native, global, and it services all edges. And by all edges, what I mean is the office, especially with COVID, work from home, the remote, remote employees connecting via VPN and also cloud and multi-cloud. So if, if a vendor is telling you they're sassy and doesn't do all four of those things, I would challenge whether they're going through a marketing hype cycle to try and capture some uh, some of your attention or if they truly are gonna be servicing your end user customer the way that they expect to be. So what's what's next on the horizon? Come out of last year, what's what do you guys got coming up this year that's different? What are you adding to the to the portfolio? Sure, so we've been built as a cloud service for some time. I think a lot of folks wanted to equate us to an SD-WAN. Yes, we are SD-WAN. We provide that as a part of our platform. Certainly security as a part of the convergence, uh, as well as SDP or software-defined perimeter to connect remote users. What you're really gonna see this next year is, is a, a renewed focus on security. You'll see some new things come out that, uh, that I'll share with you at another time, but you'll hear some more buzzwords come and more acronyms, which we're all excited about. Yeah. Uh, but whether it's, uh, you know, whether it's ZTNA around zero trust or additional services around CASB or RBI or RBAC, you'll, you'll hear a bunch come out of my, uh, out of my mouth this next year <laughs> that we're all going to have to learn and we'll learn it together. And we're excited to tell your partners about it. Hey, Nick, if you don't mind me asking COVID, it was kind of the global curveball, if you will. We all got thrown last year. I know how we dealt with it at Planet One. I mean, it, it took me longer to go to Best Buy and buy a laptop for a worker who needed to go home than it did to really immobilize. In fact, we use Cato, we did. little shameless plug, right? Yep. We, uh, you're, you're part of the solution that allowed us to go to a distributed work from anywhere environment. I know how we dealt with it at Planet One. We just put the head down and plow ahead like we always do. How'd you guys deal with it and how did it affect your business? Really interesting question. Um, in a lot of, you know, in a time which was devastating for a lot of people and a lot of companies, uh, for Cato, it was it was an acceleration. When you think about the growth curve of digital transformation, the pandemic accelerated it by an order of magnitude. And, and what I mean by that is companies were forced to look for solutions to support that, uh, you know, any edge or edgeless solution, as it were, to be able to figure out how do I support application access for my remote from home, work from home users which the majority of the you know the workforce had to go home and do. So for Cato, it really put a focus on our, uh, our remote access solution, which again, it allows for a single policy so that no matter where you are, whether you're at the office, whether you're remote, it allows you that same security policy as well as access to those applications. So for Cato, it was, uh, it was you know, obviously a very advantageous time for us. Our business grew significantly just last year in 2020, uh, I know a lot of companies and businesses were either staying flat, some were retracting. You know, we added 350 net new customers in 2020, which is something we're very proud of. So you've been you've been there a couple of years now, Nick. You've, you've run in the channel. Obviously, your brand in the channel has grown over the last couple of years. What's a misconception from your from where you're sitting in your seat? What's one uh, mis misconception that the channel community and our partners may have about Cato? Sure, I think I mentioned it earlier that Cato is just SD WAN. When I think. Um, we're a lot more than that. We've built a cloud service to, to really help customers along with digital transformation as mentioned before. So whether it's security or networking or work from home, th there's more to Cato than just SD-WAN. I think SD-WAN is oftentimes an entry point 
because of a lot of where customers are coming from. Um, but what I would say to the partners is, you know, bring those unique use cases to us, whether they be security, whether they be a work from home uh, or, or, you know, optimizing traffic across a great distance. Cato has many different solutions. We are not a, uh, a solution that fits all, but certainly tell us what, uh, what you've got and our, our channel manager are there to help you sort through some of the noise. And we're going to tell you if it's not a good fit for us. If there's another vendor that's more suited to a specific use case, we don't want to take on opportunities that are going to make you or us really look bad in the long term. Nick, on, on engagement, uh, we have a new program at Planet One this year. It's all about engage and wins, shameless plug. Shameless. Our show, shameless plug. And, <laughs> but how do, how do the partners really, I mean, if you want them to take away something today, how do they, what do you want them to do? First steps, give, give us some marching orders. How do we engage and win with you and, and set the expectation of what that engagement looks like? Sure. So, you know, we've been working with a lot of the Planet One team for some time, and you've got a fantastic technical team. Uh, Warpy, you've done a great job building the team. So Jason Morris uh, is, is phenomenal. So what I would say is bring those opportunities, those complex opportunities, obviously first through Planet One, and we will be there to uh, to assist, right? So our, our main goal is to help sell shoulder to shoulder with the partners in the field. And the reason for that isn't because um, we want to become the salesperson and own it. We absolutely understand the partners. These are your customers. However, what we're talking about with Cato is a disruption. It's not something they've heard before. It, it's generally uncomfortable for some folks in IT because it, it can mean a change. Um, but really that goal is simplicity at the end of the day of what Cato offers. And so nobody tells the story better than us. So engage your channel manager early, you know, obviously bring the opportunities through Planet One and the engineering organization. And we're confident that you know us very well. Ted, as you mentioned before, you use Cato in your, your offices. So you, you definitely know us very well, probably better than most vendors or suppliers in the portfolio. So certainly, we trust the process um, that you guys have defined, and I, I think uh, it'll work well. We're excited for 2021. Trust the process. Got it in there. Solid. Yes, you did. All right, so that's that's probably the longest amount of time that you and Ted and I have been in a conversation and been serious. Yeah. So let's let's. I'm getting uncom I'm getting uncomfortable. So let's 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 go. Let's You're turn it up a notch. It was called the hot seat. Yeah. So, so called Nick, the hot seat for a reason, Nick. Here we go. So Nick, you and I have known each other for a while. Um, so we're going to go back into your memory banks here and see if your state dependent memory can pull this one out. Cause this is a very specific discussion slash debate you and I had some time ago. Do you remember right. our conversation about college basketball? And do you remember Chris Warpy's favorite college basketball player of all time? This is a hard one because you and I talk about college basketball multiple times a week. <laughs> um, I, I want to say it's someone from the Ivy League because there is no better league to watch than the so, Ivy on Friday. So, so Nick and I like to uh, we, we like to follow <laughs> the teasers on four team Ivy League parlays, but yeah, different conversation. But <laughs> so he's working yeah, through this. I don't, I don't think it's someone from there. Maybe, maybe a little too specific. You know, obviously I know you well, and I know you you grew up in uh, in Minnesota. So I, I want to say it's a guy like a Jim Chicken Jansky, but that, that's going a little far back for me. Uh, there is probably not a player you and I have talked about more than uh, than Levance Fields. He got it. Levance Fields. He got it. So <laughs> I won't make you answer why, but the reality is if we can get a picture of Levance Fields, just so everyone can see it. Are you um, su suggesting maybe he didn't have the, the I, atypical NBA, NBA yeah, so, body? So when people talk about great athletes and you look at Jordan, 6'6", six, six, whatever, those aren't great athletes. They were born with that. They didn't have to overcome anything. You look at Levance Fields, other than the cornrows, he looks a lot like me. So what my premise, and what Nick clearly agrees with, I'm hoping, is that short, fat point guards do represent the best athletes in the world. Because if you can play point guard with this, yeah, guys that look like me, that's a great athlete. So it, that's a great segue, too. Speaking of short, heavier sets, stocky guys with absolutely no athletic ability whatsoever, reminds me of a school just East of Oakland, up by 80 a little bit. Maybe you've heard of it. UC Davis. <laughs> yeah, I have heard of it. Uh, it I, spent, uh, I spent my four years there. Go Ags. I, I, go Ags. So I got to ask you, did you go there thinking you were going to be a vet? Because that's uh, one of the best no, veterinarian schools in the country, right? It is. I am an animal lover, but uh, <laughs> I had no aspirations of that. The truth be told, it was the only place that gave me an athletic scholarship. So D2 track and field is why wow. I went there. Wow. <laughs> you just validated the bar set. Field. Yeah. Hey. Being set real low. In Nick's defense, they, they, ref, <laughs> they do refer to UC Davis as the Stanford of Sacramento. You are. You, yeah. you, so you couldn't get into Stanford or Cal? Is that it? 
I did. Stanford of Sacramento. You just heard it. Yeah. <laughs> I, he's got a, he just all it. you got a Stanford shirt in your bedroom somewhere. I know it. I do. I do. And, uh, my parents remind me every day. I didn't, I didn't achieve those heights, but, uh, maybe my kids will. You know, I, I just recall when the wind would shift in woodland, the manure smell that would f- overflow the UC Davis campus is, is something to behold. That's great knowledge. Once you cross 113 over there, that wind blows. It's it's over. You go indoors immediately. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, you do. I used to go to baseball camps there in the mid 70s. Yes, I'm dating myself. And uh, the the big thrill of the day is when they used to let us in the swim platform, and we'd go jump off the 50 foot swim platform, and you know it was like landing on cement. Yeah. So, <laughs> anyway, that's, all- that's a good school. That's a great school. I had a lot of good friends that went that are Aggies out there. Not a great sports school. Yeah, well, hey, I Ken O'Brien, JT O'Sullivan. We got a couple guys in the NFL. See, oh, I knew he knew. Keelan Doss. Okay, Dos. Look, really went home. That's right. The receiver. Football's playing. Yeah. They're 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 winning some games now. He just exhausted right. the entire list. The two of them. He, he nailed both. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> both <laughs> both famous athletes from UC Davis. Yeah, but they're not that two, famous. Two and a half. Yeah. All right. Um, well, look, Nick, thanks for joining us today. We really appreciate your time. Love the story. Um, parting thoughts for our partners before we let you go? No, we're just really excited for 2021, especially with, uh, with Planet One. We're, we're new into the preferred program, which we've been trying to, to get done for a while. So, Ted Warby, thank you for your patience in us getting it done. Uh, we are very excited to, uh, to bring SASE to the forefront, and your partners are going to help us do that. So bring us, your, uh, bring us your opportunities. Let's talk through those complex use cases and look forward to winning together in the field. Well, you know the team at Planet One and uh, certainly the man sitting to, uh, to my left here and the team that's been assembled. Uh, we're well-suited and built to do great things with you, and we're looking forward to doing that in 21. So. Uh, absolutely excited and Nick, thrilled to you. having the program. Thank you, Nick, so much for your time. You got it, brother. Thank Nick, you very Nick much. Fan, ladies and gentlemen.